7 p.m. at the moment. I'm going into the job. They've got no heating, but they do have hot water. So that tells me one thing is probably the two port valve. So we're going to have a look at that. It's probably going to be pushed to another day because it's likely a drain down. This is the current two port valve, a Sunvik SM5203. The Danfoss HPA2 fits the body of the Sunvik. I luckily had one in the van, which was ready to go. Just like the Sunvik, the Danfoss has screws on opposite sides diagonally, just two. The wires are different on the Sunvik to every other two port colors such as yellow and white. Neutral. Orange and orange together, neutral and neutral, yellow, we need to figure out. Everything is dead, apart from white. Right, so over here, the white does nothing. The white closed the valve for the Sunvik. We've got neutral, which goes to neutral. And then we've got the two oranges, the two oranges joined together. We then have the grey and the yellow and then we have the brown for the new valve which requires a permanent live. Now the Sunvig didn't have a permanent live so I'm having to do that now, get something through to get a permanent live. We normally disconnect the white. What I've done is I've cut it out. And I've put in a permanent live on the white, so I'm going to sleeve that. The permanent, uh, the permanent live then goes down the brown to the downfoss. Okay. Uh, the yellow goes down the grey, and the neutral is the neutral, and the orange is the orange. I've set the programmer to permanently on for central heating. I just need to turn up the thermostat. Once I turn up the thermostat, the boiler starts up and then we just wait for the two port to move into position. Once the Danfoss moves into position, the boiler should fire and we can see the symbol there saying that the boiler has fired. I check the radiators. With the room thermostat off, I'm now going to check the hot water still works and nothing's been affected. So that's all we're doing now. There we go, it fires up. You can replace the Sunvik with a Danfoss. So it's a Danfoss HPA2. It works slightly different to the Sunvik. The Sunvik rotates all the way around when it wants to turn on, and then it rotates again all the way around to turn off. But it doesn't go back and forth like that. Now, the Danfoss does do quarter turns back and forth, but it does work with the Sunvik the wiring is an absolute nightmare so the first thing you need to do is get rid of the two wires that we know are consistent so the two wires we know are consistent are the neutral which is blue and the orange which is orange <laughs> so you know the, the orange obviously sends signal to the boiler so orange is always consistent on all valves uh, white is normally not used so we would cut the white the white closes the Sunvik. In a two-port valve, you normally don't need anything to be closed. The valve doesn't need to be told to be closed. So we can cut the white wire. The issue is, with most new two-port valves, you'll need a permanent live. In this case, there was no permanent live. So I used the white wire and I reconnected it to a permanent live in the programmer. Okay, so the white then became permanent live. The permanent live is then connected to the brown, well, in this case, it was the brown wire of the Danfoss. Um, if you're dealing with another two-port valve, it may be the gray wire that you connect to, but that would be the permanent live. So whichever one is the permanent live, you, you give it permanent live.